the green light is about to go on. There it is, green light on. Here we go, race 11, the rural, rural city of Murray Bridge Day. Here at Murray Bridge, obviously. Set to go. Away, Bungalow M was one of the last out. Cold Express began very fast and has got to get across and find the lead and looking good for favourite punters. Builds up a lead of two or three lengths, trying to chase out after the linger. Chloe, that may be wrong. He got a slight check there. He goes back to fourth placing, being passed now by Fredo Baggins. And then we've got the Bungalow Ann and fourth and through at the tail. Getting tired, the favourite walking. Fredo Baggins coming at it. Oh, it responded late. Cold Express held up the challenge of Fredo Baggins and a linger Chloe. Fourth, not really sure. Uh, there was Bungalow Ann and also maybe wrong and for the thrill was at the tail end of the field and I think a Chloe pull up quickly there with him. Well, the favourite looked home and then it just looked like it was going <coughs> to be gobbled up by Frodo Baggins but I think it responded again uh, when uh, Frodo Baggins went to the inside and uh, held off the challenge of Frodo Baggins and Linga Chloe's third. She pulled up quickly going into the pen and Bungalow Annie will get fourth on the outside. 5271 after race number 11 the time was 22 and 38 and the margin was three quarters by one and three quarters. Golden Express won it at the start with a good jump. Was able to get across and find the front. Wanted to use a little bit of the track up the home straight, but uh, did hold off the challenge of Frodo Baggins, who was getting up on the inside and surged quickly and looked to be a challenger. But Colton Express responded and kicked strongly over the concluding stages once it found the outside. 